Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries reading. And today we're gonna to take a look and see what do you need to know about what's coming towards you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Um, at the very least, it will be advice if a situation comes up like this, but this is a situation for somebody that they need to hear, so please be respectful. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being patient with me. Very chaotic time right now. The most of you know it always is during Mardi Gras season. We have projects, we have parades, school parades, things like that. So uh, it's very hard for me to stick to a schedule right now. So I will probably get back to a more fluent schedule after Valentine's Day, which will be the day after Mardi Gras when I get back into town. I'm going to my hometown for the day of Mardi Gras. So um which is a little country town in louisiana um let's take a look here real quick i want to say thank you so much to everybody who has showed me love on making forty thousand subscribers which is a huge deal for me it's it's amazing i never thought i would be here when i first wrote my letter my manifestation letter I was aiming for 5,000 subscribers. And so to get to 40,000 is a blessing, is a blessing. And I'm still in so much gratitude and just happy and joy for all of that and all of the support. I also wanted to say a special thank you to Tamara Walls for a beautiful donation to the channel. Thank you so much to Melissa Janelle. Thank you so much to Ashley Lindsay. Thank you so much for your donation. I didn't get to post you, so I want to give you guys a special shout out. Thank you so much to Tanique. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Always, always, always to uh, Paula, who always consistently supports the channel. Thank you so much, Paula, for everything that you do. Um, there's somebody by the name of Hog or Rito. I'm not sure, but you gave a beautiful donation to the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will be not returning to personal readings, but if you remember, like I said, the people who emailed me and I never get a chance, I didn't get a chance to um, respond or give you the reading email. I will be doing those readings after Mardi Gras. So I will accept about 10 more people. Um, if you're in my email, you may be one of the lucky ones. Okay. So um, just hold your horses. I will get to you just when life is a little bit more sane around here, okay? So let's get into it. So for the overall energy of this reading of what's coming towards you, you need to know. We have this five of spring, which is the five of wands, okay? Opposing goals arising from different, differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people, okay? So where do you fall into that arena? That is the five of wands, okay? There could be some sort of conflict, arguments, fight. It could be opposing energies between yourselves, like it says, or others. We have the prince of winter into, or prince of swords. Intellectual, determined, focused, and impulsive. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden and unexpected changes, okay? So needing to think quickly and on your feet and to not let something linger too long, okay? We also have the nine of spring or the nine of wands, which says protect the fruits of your labor, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead, environmental conservation, okay? This could also be the ending of a cycle, a very difficult one coming up, okay? I'm going to clarify each one of these cards before we get into the Celtic cross. And I will pull some you know, oracle messages along the way. But let's let's first clarify these. Tell me about the five of wands or the five of spring here, spirit. Thank you so much. Tell me about the five of wands as I'm seeing the five of wands at the bottom of the deck or the five of spring. Tell us about the five of spring. Thank you so much. Tell me about the five of spring. The king of rods. Okay. Very, very fiery energy. 
So if there's some sort of opposing for or um, opposing um, forces, opposition, arguments, conflicts, or anything like that, this is a person here who's bringing a lot of fire and passion behind that. This is this is the type of energy where somebody is standing on business for real with this King of Wands energy here. They're ready for war. They're ready for 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 a fight, and they're not going to give up. King of Wands, very powerful, strong energy here. Tell us about the Prince of Winter or the Page of Swords. Uh, we have the hangman, which is Pisces energy here. So this is kind of like a needing to wait and think or see something from a different perspective before before an impulsive decision or before impulsive communication, okay? So hangman energy there. And tell us about the nine of spring or the nine of wands. Thank you. We have the seven of wands. So standing your ground for real, standing on business. A lot of fire energy here. Um, defending yourself or being defensive, okay? Somebody could be defensive. Hermit energy at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to pull from this oracle and see what comes out. We'll pull one card here. Um, and then we're going to get into the Celtic cross. Tell us about this energy that Aries needs to see or they need to know about spirit. Tell us about the energy. Thank you so much. Give us one card here for Aries for this situation, spirit. I knew it because this card slipped out. Um, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So there's a challenging situation that's coming up in your life. Um, this could be a fight. It could be an argument. It could be somebody at odds or in opposition with you. Spirit is asking you to wait, see something from a different perspective before you make an impulsive decision. There could be dealing with somebody who's quite immature or there could be an immature situation at hand and you don't want to do something very impulsive, okay? Needing to stand your ground. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on for Aries in this situation. What's going on here for Aries? We have the hangman again. Okay. Yeah. So this is, sometimes this is a spiritual awakening card here. Okay. Because you, it is time for a change. It's time for something to change. There could be a shift that is happening and you kind of need to wait before you make a move. The judgment here is saying something is arising and something is coming up. This is Pisces energy here. Again, seeing something differently before there is forward movement. What's the challenge here for Aries? the world card. So things, there's a cycle that's coming to an end, a closure, and it's for your highest good. This could be the end of a job, a relationship, or a situation that has been going on for a long time with the nine of wands. What do you want spirit to, what do you want Aries to focus on spirit? The ace of wands, a new beginning, an exciting new beginning, new opportunities here. This is a time for you to take action in a direction that you have been praying about or you've been hoping for, you've been manifesting. So you could be having opposition or conflict arising at a time where you are focused on new opportunities and new beginnings. That usually happens, right? When you are changing pace, when you're changing direction, sometimes when you're leaving people behind, there could be opposition, okay? Sometimes that could be a distraction or a test. So you don't want to give too much energy to it. Hence the hanged man position, the pay, uh, hangman card. We got the page of pentacles in the past position here. So this is you just getting started on a project. You laying the groundwork, laying the foundation, planting the seed here. Okay. So it's like the universe and the powers that be here are seeing you start something or something start to grow for you. Um, something starting a dream, starting to become a reality. Okay. Tell me about what's crowning Aries here in this situation. Um, tell me what's crowning Aries in this situation, spirit. You have the temperance. So this talks about patience and balance transmuting your own energies here. If you're angry or if there's a situation that has been keeping you out of balance, it's time for you to slow down, right? Before you do something that you may regret or say something that you may regret. So this makes me feel like that there could be some sort of uh, combative or argument, combative energy or argument or some sort of opposition here. And it could really get you fired up with the King of Wands. And uh, I'm not sure if this was wanting to come out. It, it does. 
like it's wanting to come out. I'm just going to show it the eight of cups and the high priestess. So getting out of your emotions here so you can see something clearly with your intuition. But this feels like a very fiery energy here with the nine of spring, nine of wands, seven of wands, king of wands, and five of wands. Okay. Very charged up, passionate type of energy. Tell us what's coming towards Aries in this situation. What's this? The six of cups. So this could be someone from your past exchanging compassion or love with another here, right? It's reciprocated energy here. The six of cups, this could be a childhood friend um, or reminiscing nostalgia. So somebody could be coming towards you from your past here who wants to express some love or emotions. Tell us about Aries energy during this situation. How is Aries going to be feeling? What is Aries? In? So you are in this nine of wands. You're very being very trying to protect yourself okay um on guard you could be one who has been hurt many many times so you are like really being vigilant about who you're letting into your space you feel very you're feeling very protective of your energy or your situation and i feel like you're tired nine of wands maybe tired of fighting maybe tired of having to defend yourself maybe tired of the situations that you're going through repeatedly with people where you being mistreated is what I'm feeling. Okay. Tell me, um, about, tell me about what's in Aries environment. So in your environment, you have the seven of wands in reverse and look at that, the five of wands. So this is someone here, seven of wands upright. Seven of Wands upright is defending your territory, standing your ground, and you ultimately do win if it is a difficult situation, right? It, it, it's a difficult situation. You stand your ground. You may slip a little bit. You may fall, but you end up protecting or defending yourself. You end up coming out victorious, okay? Especially over the Five of Wands energy. If this is in your environment and this is the Seven of Wands in reverse, this could be somebody here that is an imposing force or a different person who you could have been going head to head with. They don't win, right? They don't come on top. They feel like they either let their guard down or they slip and fall, maybe because they were not on solid ground. Okay. When I say that, maybe, you know, the the reason why they were defensive, the reason why they were combative is because they had other situations going on or they just felt like they didn't really have a valid point or they didn't have a valid reason for coming at you if this is a person. Tell us about what, okay. So yeah the devil energy, <laughs> hopes and fears here. Dealing with somebody here who could be quite toxic, controlling. Um, this could be a situation that is very controlling, manipulative here. This could be some sort of addiction here that someone is dealing with, or this could be codependency. All right. Tell us about the outcome. Tell us about the outcome here in this situation here for Aries. The Ace of Swords, a victory, success, and the truth. So Aries, I don't know if you, this is a literal person that you are in opposition with, right? You do seem to come out on top if that's important to you. But most importantly, it feels like that the truth or there is clarity in the situation here, okay? Um, it feels like something moves forward for you. Let's get a little bit more information. I'm seeing new beginnings here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. And the first card out is the Hangman. So before anything needs to happen, there needs to be some sort of spiritual awakening around the situation. It's like you need to know why something is happen happening. You need to know why there's opposition taking place for you. Um, you need to like kind of be if there's if this is a person, right? Sometimes we can take things at face value when there's an argument, but sometimes you may have to see like, man, maybe this person is hurting. Maybe this person is jealous. Maybe this person is, you know has other things going on in their life if this is a person or a situ you know a situation like that. Um if now if this is just energy, right? If this is energy and somebody's, you know, this is energy coming towards you, maybe you need to not give in to it, right? Because that type of energy can suck you in and pull you down. Right. But there's a reason with the hangman energy here why spirit wants you to wait and observe before giving in. It could just be purely strategic as well. Tell us about the Ace of Swords. Tell us about the Ace of Swords. We're having the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups. Ignoring a situation here. 
the hermit making a wise decision to pull away from something, making a wise decision to remove yourself from a situation or pull away from something. We have Virgo energy. Um, a page of swords here. Could be somebody watching you, stalking you. Tell me one more about the Ace of Swords. We got the Ace of Pentacles. This feels like pulling away from a situation because spirit does not want you to miss an opportunity. They do not want you to miss some sort of blessing coming in. It's a very exciting new beginning for you. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Wands. Tell us about the hangman. Tell us about the hangman here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. The Six of Cups. This could have to do with a past person that you were in a relationship with, a friend, okay? Somebody here that you have love for or once had love for, they're wanting you to wait and evaluate a situation or relationship. So you have the Six of Cups on top of the hangman and you have the Six of Cups in the future position. So let's clarify the Six of Cups in the future position. What is this about coming towards Aries? I don't really get the Six of Cups as an apology, but I am kind of getting that here now. The Knight of Wands, excitement, passion, somebody coming back in here. Tell me about that. Wow. Five of Wands. So this is somebody that you have some sort of nostalgic memories with. You once exchanged love or passion or exciting times here, but they're coming in very impulsively and argumentative, and there could be some sort of combative energy Aries like there's somebody here who's bringing in drama with the five of wands and maybe that's why spirit is saying you need to take a pause or a step back okay because the five of wands is on top of um five of wands six of cups and the knight of wands this is Aries Leo Sag energy now it doesn't matter about the sign this is just somebody here who's in this energy very impulsive type of energy let's pull one more for the Six of Cups in the future position. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Sixes talk about balance. All right. The Eight of Pentacles. Working. So this is balance. This is blessing, financial security, independence here. Eight of Pentacles. Working towards something greater building something up. You could be building yourself up, your finances up. Um, tell me one more here about this energy and the eight of wands. This is positive, positive opportunities coming for you. And I feel that there could be someone coming in from your past, right? Who, or you share a past with, who's coming in very determined and impulsive here to create some sort of argument or drama seeing the empress in reverse at the bottom of the deck tell us about the the ace of wands here which aries needs to focus on the page of wands exciting news exciting new beginnings there could be new friendships new connections here where you collaborate and join forces to create Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Yep, what did I say? Three of Pentacles, join forces, collaborate, create, increase your finances. This could be even um, some sort of teamwork or team building activity here, but you're making more money. This is new opportunities coming in to expand and to make more money. Um, tell me about the Nine of Wands energy Aries is in here. We have the death card here, which is the ending of a situation so you can transform the Queen of Wands, your life. Aries, Leo, Sag, you are in your creative energy, your creative bag, and the Nine of Cups receiving a wish fulfillment. So that's why you're in this Nine of Wands energy. You're really trying to defend and protect yourself. You are setting up strong boundaries here, Aries. I feel like this is different from what you've ex what you've done in the past. Maybe you've been very, very forgiving and it's always good to forgive, but maybe in the sense of like you let people back in to kind of use you or mistreat you and you're not doing that anymore because you know that that has thrown you off in the past, right? You're not allowing them seeing the seven of swords, the five of cups. Somebody is hiding their emotions. Somebody is hiding how they feel. Somebody's hiding that they're sad and that they're regretful and that they're remorseful. Um, tell me about the hangman again with the six of cups. Tell me about the hangman with the six of cups. The three of cups. 
someone wanting to reconcile, come together, celebrate with you, four of wands. And this could just be celebrations for yourself as well. Being happy, harmonious, stable. Um, tell me about the seven of wands in your environment. The high priestess. Hmm. If somebody was trying to spiritually attack you, they don't win. They don't do it. The seven of wands in reverse. They're defeated. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't get ahead. Tell me about the high priestess and the seven of wands in reverse. The seven of pentacles. Okay. Delays. I'm seeing here. Tell me about the seven of pentacles here and the five of cups. Somebody's going to be very sad, regretful, remorseful here that they invested in something here or not listening to their intuition magician some of somebody could have invested in some sort of spiritual attack and it didn't work tell me about the five of, tell me about the devil excuse me tell me about the devil yeah the three of swords is clarifying the devil somebody is very codependent very toxic to the point that they're a detriment to themselves okay they're hurting and they don't want to release this energy this toxicity they'd rather be in this energy than maybe apologize or admit that they're wrong um and spirit is telling you to kind of just sit back and wait remain balanced okay transmute your energy especially if you're mad especially if you're in a heated type of energy this is it's not necessary for you to go back and forth with this person i feel like this is a person here who is hurting themselves tell me about the world card the four of swords in reverse this could be a period of communication that like if you were not speaking to someone that's coming to an end so you could be about to hear from someone here and when they come towards you they're going to be very hot-headed very argumentative they're coming in very drama filled tell me more about the world card the spirit is trying to get you out of there trying to get you out of that situation so the world card here it was clarifying is the ten of swords the ten of swords okay so very painful ending and it's a challenge for you to heal from this, but it's the right thing. It's the best thing for you is to get out of some situation that was very difficult for you. I'm seeing the moon here. Hmm. Tell us about the nine of wands and the seven of wands at the top. Give us one more here for that. The justice card. So you're setting very strong boundaries for yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're defending yourself. And spirit is saying, hey, if you have qualms or questions about whether or not that's the right thing to do, we're giving you confirmation. It's the right thing to do to stand your ground with a particular person. Um, that could be a friend, a family member, or a lover. They're saying that they're going to take care of the situation. So somebody may, if they were stubborn or something like that, they're going to be experiencing some sort of karma. And that karma does not mean a punishment, right? It just maybe is spirits needing to teach somebody, hey, this is how you made someone feel. This is what you did to this person. This is what you did to Aries. You need to experience this or you need to see what you've done, right? Um, some people could be very stubborn and they're not seeing that. I'm seeing the full energy here. You, meanwhile, going in a different direction, having a new beginning. New beginning, very happy with the Ten of Cups here, the Wheel of Fortune here. Things are changing for you. You could be getting out of some sort of toxic cycle with the devil energy. That could be with a family member. That could be with a person that you're in a relationship with. I'm seeing the... Um, what does this say? Empress in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. Very selfish energy here where somebody here, the love is not, it's not reciprocate. Like, okay. So the, so the, I keep on saying Queen of Wands, excuse me. The Empress here in reverse has a lot of healing to do is what I'm getting. Okay. Has a lot of healing to do. Very stubborn, very in their ego here with the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. Very selfish type of energy. They're not they're not wanting to heal or compromise. And I'm seeing that with the four of pentacles. Excuse me. The four of pentacles upright underneath that. They're holding back, being very stubborn. Okay. So I don't know who you're dealing with like that, Aries, but it's a confirmation that they might not change by on their own. There may be an experience that takes place that is going to make this person 
uh, or go through like this going to change them. And it's probably going to change you. Okay. Because with the adversity card here, it says, I accept that challenges are the best way for you to learn. All right. So it could be a very difficult situation, right? While you have to be patient and pull back of wait and not speak on something or not speak to someone. Okay. But spirit is asking you to do that because there needs to be a balancing of energy. So it makes me believe maybe you either always go towards this person or you always initiate change. You always initiate forgiveness or making up or so spirit is asking you not to do that. You don't need to do that. You don't deserve, you don't to do that right now. Okay. Um, and maybe there's a fear of abandonment for you. There's a fear of abandoning you being abandoned, but if somebody is mistreating you, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay if they leave or walk away. Okay. Um, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.